guys welcome to my channel today i want to show you guys how to set up your hband app how to connect your hband app to your smartwatch so download the app go to apple store or google play store and download the hband app open it after opening it you see that it's learning then come down and make sure that you put your bluetooth on make sure that your bluetooth is on because the bluetooth is the main source of connection with the smartwatch so um you can input your email here and um, input your password uh or just click um sign up here click on sign up here so let's just sign up sign up so when we are signing up we have to input the email and password and tap on agree so then we'll sign up click on sign up but we can also jump over by clicking on non-account login no account login just tap on it tap on and agree and then um click on allow to open then click on skip then click up here you can choose your date of birth and that's done um you can just choose your month of birth and then choose your day of birth then you can also click on next choose your weight and height if you want then click on the step choose the steps 1000 10,000 or 11,000 steps and I'll go of steps you know, so I can choose your go of step or if you can take up to 15,000 steps you can just choose it and then click on here um, scan equipment click on use while using your app and then you, from here you can easily find your smartwatch so make sure that your smartwatch is on and is fully charged so you can see this smartwatch that we have here okay you can just tap on it to start connecting but let's just um skip this first uh because i want to show you guys some other features that this app has so we have to click on here the right my so from this my now uh, you can see that the watch is disconnected from here you can easily set up a username you can just let me put a username here right here Michi Flix. So I've input my username and also can easily input pictures here and then edit some few things here. I can choose my color whether I'm white or black. You understand? So I can just choose this one, confirm, then save. So <clears throat> when you come to permission management, here the right permission management, tap on it because here is where the app have more features to enable. So from here you can just click on this notification access and go and give the app a uh, access. Understand? Go and give the app permission um, notification access. So you have to look for the app, the H band app. Just look for it. Here is it. And give it the access allow so after doing that you have to go back to the app and then come right here and app info and um, phone information enable it you know, so that calls will be coming into the smartwatch and here um, calls name and here is incoming calls so that you'll be receiving incoming calls and SMS is here is for SMS so that you'll be receiving SMS and contact can enable all this and also enable camera so that you can easily be able to remotely control your phone camera with the smartwatch and also enable storage understand so after doing this you have to just simply go back go back and then come right down here understand right down here is where you can easily be able to um, set your u3 um settings understand can easily set this if you want I tap here now confirm come back here you can easily make these changes from here I can also set your your sleep and some other stuff so from here now you can easily be able to check your pedometer but uh, we haven't connected the smartwatch yet so um, from here is the workout you can easily tap here and confirm to start doing the workout but before doing that you have to click on allow all the time 
so when you allow all the time you can also use a map or use google map so we can easily choose google map and click on start and confirm then we can easily start understand so then you can also go back if you want to stop you can go back and after the whole movement you can see how many kilometers that you have covered you understand so when you go back here you can see app style when you come to app style now you can choose um the different color app menu you understand the way you want the color that you want this is the default and uh, from here you can set your goals and from here if you need help you can just easily um contact understand whitelist help unable to contact the unable to connect device so it's if the device is not connecting you can easily come here the right unable to connect device to have make inquiry and get solution understand so device is easily to disconnect from here you can also get more info on how to sort the issues out understand? so to being able to connect the smartwatch just tap on here disconnected so you can see the smartwatch that we have now just tap on it and it will start connecting immediately when you don't connect in the smartwatch will send you signal that yes that is fully connected so this is it for today thank you for watching if you find this video informative and helpful please like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye